All right, so what we're looking at now is the internal features of the lamprey itself. And so we're going to start at the most in anterior region, and you'll notice you can see the horny teeth and the bony tongue. If you take your probe and you insert it just above the bony tongue, uh, you'll notice that it kind of goes into a tube-like area. That's going to be the esophagus. Remember, that's where the blood is going to travel because these organisms um, suck blood to feed. The esophagus is going to travel underneath the gills in this region right here where the red is are the gills. Um, they've all been dyed so that you um, have the uh, ability to see more clearly the circulatory system. The um, esophagus is going to run into the intestines and we're going to look at that just a little bit later on that's going to run through this area. What we can see here though just behind the gills is going to be the heart. You can locate that. The next portion is going to be the liver which is this region right here. And then just posterior to the liver is this long uh, cream colored structure. And you're going to notice that if you were to take a section of it out and you kind of squish it in your fingers a little bit, this one's not falling apart as well as I'd like it to, uh, you'll notice that there are some circle like structures or ball like structures in there. Those are the eggs, so these are the gonads. All right? If you had a male, this would be sperm as opposed to the eggs, which would be female. Okay, as we go back up to the anterior region, we take a look at our medial nostril on the top, and as we follow it internal, we're going to notice that there's a dark structure right here, and that's actually going to be the olfactory sac. Just posterior to the olfactory sac is actually going to be the brain. The brain then, of course, is attached to the spinal cord, which is this structure that you see here. Just ventral to the spinal cord is going to be the notochord. Now remember that these organisms are cartilaginous organisms and so the notochord doesn't actually um, calcify over. Just posterior uh, or just ventral to the notochord that's running down here, you can see this red structure. And this actually makes up the dorsal aorta. What you can also see here are these two light and dark regions. This darker region is going to be the myotome, which is divided up by the myoseptum, where myo means muscle and septum essentially means division. Uh, in this region, up towards the front, this structure that I'm pointing at right here, I know it's kind of hard to see because there's not a massive color variation. Uh, you can see some of here. This is all cartilage, and this is part of the lingual cartilage where um, ling means tongue. Okay, as uh, we move further down, you'll be able to note the cloaca where everything is going to exit. And then if we move, remove some of these eggs, we should find a tube that runs inside. And this tube essentially is connected you can see it off of the liver, uh, is connected to the esophagus and is going to run all the way down to the cloaca, and this is the intestines where the absorption of the nutrients happen. Remember that these organisms, uh, since they're drinking blood, do not need a stomach to do mechanical digestion, so it goes straight from the esophagus directly into the intestines for absorption. If we were to take a cross-section of this organism, as shown here, you can see the following the spinal cord, the notochord, and the dorsal aorta. This area is the egg region, and then this tube down here at the very bottom is actually going to be the intestines.